It's Hall from Bathgate. Beside Creamery Park, it's Bathgate Thistle versus Livingston United. John, this will be a tough game today. You're playing against, uh, well, they're second top just now. So, how are you prepared for this game? Because it's difficult, eh? It'll be a hard game, eh? They've got a good one against West Coast at the weekend, so we've just got yeah. to get an approach it, give them respect. But if we're in their faces, not give them a minute, it should be a good battling game. That's right. And I, I, I was, the last time I visited Livingston uh, United, uh, you still had to win a game. Uh, but I'm pleased to see that you have won one. That must give you a wee bit of confidence, eh? It gives a bit of confidence, aye. You've done well in that game against Pumphers and everybody stuck to their man. Um, so I think it was just a wee, a wee slip up after that against Faltus and Will Kelly. So hopefully we can get a, I think a draw night, a good result. So we've just got to go and play for the win, though. But a bit hard to have a game. Aye, and I believe a lot of your results have been quite closer since then, eh? They have, aye. Much uh, closer than the margins. It got smaller. We're not uh, shipping as much goals and working better as a team since the new manager. It's much better. Yeah, everybody's like buying his ideas now and what these game plans so it's got a lot better. And so you'll be looking forward to next season as like a, a, a start afresh, won't yeah, you? Yeah, basically this is, the, um, this is coming to the end of the game, isn't it? But we're treating this like a mini pre-season, um, going to a pre-season coming, so we can get as much results as we can now and just get confidence in the team for next season, so I good times ahead. I missed a good victory on <laughs> Saturday there against West Calder. Yeah. But the important thing is, uh, this, you know, if you get three points, I'll guarantee you promotion, won't it? Yeah. But also, well, they put your point behind West Calder. Yeah, that's right. I, it, was, it, was a, it was a big three points, um, as I said to you last week. All, all games at this stage of the season are a big game, so it's just a case of trying to pick up three points every time you go out there. Um, and the boys have been doing that recently, so I'm um, really pleased with it, really pleased with the three points. And as you say, three points tonight guarantees us um, promotion and uh, actually gets a second place minimum as well. So. Um, something for the boys to play for. Of course, you're playing against Livingston, bottom of the league, they've only had one win. Yep. You can't take it for granted. They're playing for their uh, pride, aren't they? Aren't uh, they? Exactly, and they've obviously they've got a new manager in not that yeah. long ago as well. And, and you can see, even though they're still been getting beat recently, they're starting to score loads of goals. Yes. Um, I've heard that um, in a couple of the games they've been really unlucky, a few decisions have went their way and stuff like that. Otherwise, they could have got more points than what they have. So, it, it, any game, you know, at this level is, is dangerous. Everybody can beat everybody, so um, we can't uh, we can't uh, get complacent here at all. Thanks, Gordon. Go, and go. And if you like trees, it's quite picturesque. The Creamery Park. What nice trees! Just make my way up the grass banking here. Uh, I like grounds of grass banking, as you know, and you got a good view from up here. And that's kick off there, Livingston in uh, black and white there to kick off and uh, Bath getting their usual all blue home trip. Well, Bruce Walker was asking about the goals behind the, uh, well, in the grass banking here. And just so people can play football. And there's a lot of grounds like that where there's a, maybe a bit of flat bit. They either they have goals here and or jumpers and just kids can play football. Well, there you go, the first corner of the game goes to Livingston. Oh. Oh, that's good to go now. Sounds for a quick break over here. Oh, I nearly got the ball through. Right, a free kick to Livingston in their own half there, but everybody's up in the box waiting for it. A good head around, but well away. Oh, the ball's not away though. Chance here now. Oh, oh good defending by Bargate there. Oh no, another chance. Oh, if there's ball, that's out for a corner, is it? Yeah, second corner at Livingston, United. There we go, Barkey. I've still got to clear the lines, but they're away now.
Okay, so there's a free kick to Bathgate. Livingston United got a four man wall. Here we go. Oh, no. I know, that's right. Well, Livingston have started uh, the better team here. They have. Right. As I say, folks, it's always great the people we meet. I've got Chris here. And this is your first time at Kimberley Park, eh? It is, and what a fantastic ground it is. It is good, yeah. yeah Tree-lined, nicely enclosed, lovely um, enclosure over the far side. Yeah. Great to be here. As I say, folks, great to be with me at the football. As like any ground topper does, take photographs of their visit. Right. Good ball in there or not? We'll go for a corner, is it? Yeah, just so as Bathgate's first corner. Oh, it's away, is it? No, he's got it. Oh! Oh! There we go, what a loop at the end of there. The goalie just couldn't reach that. And it's 1 0 to. Bathgate Thistle. Yeah. Oh, there's a chance here, Livingston here. Oh, corner, is it? There you go, there's a third corner for Livingston. You know, they've, they've actually started well. They'll be disappointed losing that goal because it is all about scoring goals. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, this is a third corner. They've they started the game quite strong. Oh, oh near post one, no. Oh, the goalie's out, mate. Oh, that was a crucial save. That was the play was nearly in. Oh, it was a far away. Oh, it was a shot. There's the ball there, huh? Come on, 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 Getting the goalie was deceived there, all right, looping. Oh. What can I say? Oh, there's a goal. Oh, that was a miss there. There was a chance. Oh, there's a wee chance there. Oh, there's a chance here. Oh, no. no, no. I, thought was, thought, I was hoping there maybe a deflection or a corner, but no, it was well over. Right, so there's a corner uh, back of Thistle here. Oh, oh, hello and dangerous Sunday Connect. Oh. Oh. oh, he's offside, I think. Aye, aye. Aye. 
Vous off. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I can assure you that I've not been there. Uh, <laughs> Oh, 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 I don't know if you hear this conversation we're having, we're talking about grounds. <laughs> I'll speak to them later. <laughs> oh, oh. Well done, defender. Oh, that was close. I was too busy talking there. Only got to begin in the corner. Oh, this is a great week, actually. Oh, he seemed to be the goalie again. Another corner of Bargy here. And, no, there's a way. There's no way enough, though. Can't see another ball in. Oh, no. There we go, free kick. Oh! That was a far away. Good effort. <laughs> oh, there's a chance here. Oh, oh no. another, another corner. Hey guys, as I say, it's amazing the people you meet at football. Right? Neil and Johnny, what? I noticed you've got the Curry Muir hat for a start there, eh? Yeah, Curry Thistle supporter on the committee. Right, hold well on. Certain places we play for time and other places. Oh, oh there's a shot there, go! There we go. There's another goal there. Livingston couldn't clear the ball. Alright. Hi, right, I was talking about your curry muir hat there. Is it eh, curry? Now your ground's been recommended by Westview the way. Park, eh? Best view for a good reason. A stunning view. And good pies, I'm told. Brilliant pies. Steak and, steak and black pudding. Absolutely amazing. And you, you're from the, the west, aren't uh, you? Yes, travelled through from the west, that's it. Falls, uh, Shettleson Juniors or Glasgow United, whatever one you want to pick. I'll yeah. I prefer Shettleson myself. And you go, uh, you, you travel about as much as possible. I can eh? for, for a number of teams, but I do my best to pick off the odd ground here and there. So Monday night, where else you'd rather be in Bathgate? That's it. Oh, oh is that a chance? Good save. Oh, unlucky. Oh, no. Oh, there's a chance, another goal! There you go, 4 0. And it can't be long at half time. Okay. Another free kick. No, it wasn't far away. Good save. Good save for the there it is, half time. Was it 4 0? 4 0. A quick half day of you guys. I mean, four goals, but we said in United are a bit. It's not a scoreline, doesn't reflect the game. Living no. started the better team and have had a couple of chances. And yeah. The keeper saved as well because they, they could have lost more, but I think four has been a bit, a bit unfair, uh, unfair in them. Definitely. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with what Neil said there. I, I feel. A wee bit sorry for Livingston United, yeah. but I think you can tell one team sitting at the bottom of the league and the other team's <laughs> fighting for a title. So, so yeah. this is the difference, isn't it? It's these That's fine right. margins. That's right, it is. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Phil, Phil and Bill. Billy, yes. they are green toppers. Well, yes. Phil and well, Bill. <laughs> well, Bill. <laughs> so, where are you going then? You were talking so, about. So, Bathgate tonight, we've got uh, Edinburgh United tomorrow. Right. And then we've got Livy again. Livy United on. Uh, Wednesday night. Wednesday. Aye, and aye. Then Thursday. Ormiston Primrose on Thursday. Ormiston aye. Primrose on Thursday. The games are coming thick and fast, but it's Fantastic. a good opportunity to do a bit ground top, and isn't it? We've got four games again next week. Aye. Excellent. That's yeah, right. So.
Great catch up you guys. What, so, what, what do you think of the game? So far, loving to United. Are we a bit unlucky to be 4-0 down uh, there? Uh, uh, well, uh, I mean, there's no way it's, it's a four goal. No. Um, and I thought Livy have done quite well. Yeah. But uh, four, the crack, the number nine's a really good player for, aye. for Bathgate. So, aye, uh, definitely. Aye. They've done well up front. Yeah. So, but uh, no, we'll see what happens in the second half. Hopefully, Livy will get another couple of goals. Good lads, hey, thanks. Aye. Well, there's plenty of ground to pursue the right folks. See Monday night football and all these midweek games, uh, all the catch ups, all the games that were uh, put off uh, during the, all the rain we had. Um, so, it's brilliant, as I say, always a beautiful game football. And I don't think I'm going to make it out to the pie stand <laughs> because I'm uh, stopping talking to people. So, there we go. We were delighted with the half time 4 0, but Lubbock's United a wee bit unfortunate, I thought. Very much so. I thought Lubbock can started really well the first 10 minutes or so. Uh, the play was all in the Bathgate half, but when uh, Bathgate's first goal went in, kind of settled the nerves a wee yeah. bit and, and obviously could have had more goals than the four they scored. I think the first priority tonight was just to get a point to guarantee yeah. promotion and obviously winning the game would close the gap to one point yeah. we are having to play for with three games so hopefully they'll press on the second half score a few more right there's yes, kick off second half I'm just making my way around uh, up the grass bank in here oh. I've seen him before other games oh we didn't lose a lot. Oh, there's a here. Oh, kicked it too far. Oh, that's a pretty decent game. Just a Bad. There's a corner to Wilmington United. Oh, no, I'm really. Yeah, I'm just oh. going to say about 150 to 200. Oh, he's through. Oh, he's too far though. He's a bit of support, good ball, but. Oh. 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 We beat them 10 nothing. Unsurprisingly, their manager has decided to take it. Although he's not a new job and he's moving on the right side. I am as I didn't get to go to the Shelton game on, on, on Saturday to up the court. Oh, oh well, that wasn't far away. No, he had to scramble there, it was off target, but it was close. Oh, oh, he's falling, but that's not fair on him, eh? It's, eh, uh, <laughs> but that's the way he'd be booked for diving. Yeah. Oh, chance here. Oh! That was close. I'm lucky. Oh. Here comes goal number five. <laughs> oh, oh, he's oh. There's a penalty, is it? Yeah. Oh, he's getting booked. He's set off, is it? Last man. Oh, it's a free kick, is it? It's a free kick. Oh, just outside the box, aye. Just outside, I think. Just outside. It's a free kick here now, a four man wall. I'll hit the wall. Oh, terrible. So much for my top corner. That's what I said to you. <laughs> 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 
Oh, I do you now. You get hit with the ball. I think I said one. And then I leave it like that with so many big teams. Oh, there's a pedal phase, is it? No? No, oh, he's like, that's a goal. I, I don't know if they've play, they just played play on. I thought it was a penalty, but, 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 but I think he just there. played the manager. Goal. 5 0. Get chawed by a dog. I hope the lady becomes it. I was going to um, we played the uh, last season. We played the church and played the Lions in the church. But yeah, 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 yeah. that's what I, I, I expected to do. Um, so I'm like, we were going to 3-2 in the end. We played well enough. And I think it was some high teams. Oh, oh there's a ball in, but not. Missed up! I thought the boy had gone out for a. Huh? I thought the ball had gone out for a. a corner or something. So stop recording. <laughs> I'm here to take the order the first time. Oh, I'm going to get for the air, but I'm going to the goalie. The goalie's out, oh, well done, the goalie. No, no, I love a lot of people. It's very difficult, but just not these particular people. Alan McCoy, who's in charge of the Scotland. Oh, the goalie smalled it, but the defenders are clear it for a corner. Go corner now to Bathgate. And oh, 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 well, there was the picture of the two guys together with the dividing line, affected by global warming, not affected by global warming. Just spent some money on a maintenance. Oh, good save. Right, guys! Right! Oh, good ball, oh. good save. Even for the goalie there. Unlucky lad. Oh, oh, that wasn't far away. Oh, there you go, there's full time. And it's 6-0 to Bargate Thistle. That's some definitely gained uh, promotion, secured promotion. And they're only one point behind Vice Calder. Colin, I know you'll be disappointed with that result today, but your performances, I mean, I was spent a lot of neutrals and you felt it was a bit harsh, even good not in at four nil at half time. Aye, it was it was a hard half for the boys, but the thing is with the amount of games we have got in such a short space of time, yeah. we'll have to rotate the squad. So we're game boys a lot of game time just to try and get a wee bit of fitness into them as well. But some of the goals we gave away in the first half wasn't acceptable. Yeah, yeah. I mean we worked, it's a big pitch, Nori. Um and this team are going for the league title. I mean, they're, yeah. they're the best football team in this league. So, with the squad of guys we've got, we're still gelling together, still trying to get everybody up to speed. And coming in against a team like that, they're so in for them. And they've just beat West Calder at the weekend. It's oh, so always going to be an uphill battle. So, yeah. the first half took the stuff from us. Yeah, and you started well as well, I think. You had about two corners, and you know, before they, they scored. And I think you got a, a, another corner after they scored. So, uh, again, you know, you had the chances, eh? Uh, we threatened for the first five minutes but um, when you come up against the classy opposition like that it's always yeah. going to be a tough day and we knew coming here how hard it was going to be so I say to them was listen carry yourself in the right way get 100% and, and we'll take it from there probably knew the firepower that they had yeah. so yeah. you know it is what it is it's just I'm really gutted to have a young lad sent off at the end yeah so, I'd say unfortunate that there's, there's that, positives yeah. to taking defeat no right I mean we're playing for pride between now and the end of the season, so every yeah. game for us is just like a friendly That's between. Great. And then the hard work will start when we get into pre-season, and then we'll see what we can go and achieve next season. But um, aye, hard one to take it out. Thanks, Colin. Cheers. Cheers man. Gordon, you'll be pleased with that victory today, yeah. and you were probably pushing for more goals. I know you're now only four goals 
a difference now behind West Calder. Yeah, uh, the main thing the night, the night was uh, getting the three points and getting the job done in terms of promotion, but especially when they went down to 10 men and we had so much of the ball, I did want us to keep pushing and getting more goals. Yeah. It, yes, for the goal difference, but also just confidence as well, just to go and I think we've been due a team um, a game like that for a long time, so it was really good to see. Yeah, because tonight was about um, securing promotion and yeah. well done about that, but now, you. but now you've got the chance of actually winning the league if we scored the slip up. Yeah, I mean, it's in their hands um, and obviously now we've not, not got any real pressure on us so we can just go and play the last few games um, try and keep the pressure on them and uh, hope, hope that they slip up but as I say, it's all in their hands. Main thing for us now is just to maintain the standards and keep going for the rest of the season. Well, thanks for watching folks and well done to Barky Thistle for giving promotion there. Mr Livingston United. I feel gutted for them. Uh, Colin Sullivan took over in January, I think it was, since uh, they have had a, a victory. But uh, it's tough to turn turning their team. I know they didn't want sympathy, but I feel sorry for them because uh, they should at least got a goal out of that game. Uh, we basket Thistle fully deserved their victory. But uh, ach, it must be a nightmare. Bottom of the league, things just didn't go for you. And wasn't a great meeting all the ground toppers. I think it was, a, well, it was a Monday holiday, bank holiday in fact, and the traffic isn't as bad in the evening, so I think uh, it allowed some ground toppers to venture a bit further uh, than they would normally do for a midweek game. But isn't it great? I mean, you go to the football yourself, but you end up standing uh, for most of the game speaking to fellow ground toppers, and of course, what do we talk about? Grounds we've visited. But it's always great hearing from them and seeing them, so brilliant. That's it, folks. If you like what I do, Please support me by subscribing to my channel. Please hit that like button. And I'll see you behind the goals.